Hey, hey everyone. Welcome back, old friend and new friend. I'm the Dread Pirate Space Buns and this is the Positivity Juice. And today, I have another positive quote and, well, inspirational quote, I don't know. I think it's really cool and I'm excited. So, here it is. At the end of the day, you just have to go for it. It's either that or spend the rest of your life regretting not putting your heart on the line when you knew you should have. It's a quote I found on Pinterest. Go figure if you follow me anywhere else. I love Pinterest. Yes, Pinterest is amazing, and especially just for like times you need to be brought up. But this is a lot cooler than just Pinterest. This is by The Better Man Project, and I hope everyone will stick around until the end of the video because I have a lot more to share about them him him he is really cool but stick around so anyway i found this and i was just like wow you know that's a that's a really good reminder that life is short you know go dance in the rain sing loud in the shower go yell at the moon if you feel like you have to just remember we are werewolves and not swearwolves <laughs> uh but really Life is too short, you know, you never know when it's your last chance. So if there's a dream job that you want or um, a goal that you're going after in life, really try for it. Really put everything you've got into it at this moment because I, I don't know, you don't know. Tomorrow's never promised. You don't know if you're going to get another chance, you know, so see what happens. It's totally worth it, especially, you know, some things don't always work out the way we plan or work out the way we want them to. And so it's kind of one of those things, if you don't end up doing what you thought you were going to do, maybe you'll gain some skills or get some new things that you didn't know about. You know, all sorts of cool things can happen, but you also know that's not your path and you can go somewhere else. You can start looking other directions, you know, and if you're in love with someone, and I'll say this on both sides of the fence, boys and girls, neither side is psychic and no one knows what's going on in your head. So if you feel something, go tell that person because they might not know. And yes, you then have to face the brutal honesty of, wow, how does this person feel? What does this person think? And that's, <coughs> hmm. sorry. That is so scary, I know, but in the end it can be so worth it because at least you can heal with the knowledge of the truth. You don't have to heal with, you know, your own ideas of what the truth is or only ever halfway heal because you only kind of thought to yourself, oh, I know the answer and then you didn't know the answer and so now you have to think for the rest of your life, oh, well, maybe there was a chance. Don't leave yourself regretting or wondering or thinking. No. Just no. Oh my god. Like, I swear, this cough will not go away. It is not okay. Especially with me. I like to breathe. What's up with that? But, yeah. I really do think it's better to heal with full knowledge. And... <laughs> I am saying that as a person who has been rejected, who has been let down before, it sucks. But I've put myself out there and I've gen generally, generally speaking, been happy with the results. And I hope that other people will too. You know, it's like I said, in many ways. I thought I was going to be so many different things in life that never ended up happening. And that's probably for the better. I don't know. I, I really do think, though, that in a way, life takes us where we're supposed to go. You know? Especially if you let it. Especially if you kind of go with that flow and, and open yourself up to, hey, everything may not work out, but it will work out for the best somehow. And work towards that somehow. That's what we can really do in the end. We can't control where it goes just how we feel about how we get there. <laughs> so.
So I really just wanted to take a minute here, hopefully enough of you are still with me, to really, really shout out the Better Man Project because honestly, when I went and I Google searched and I found his blog, I was blown away at the inspiration that he had to share. He's really pulled himself back from a rock bottom in life and found his own calling. You know, life didn't go the way he thought it was going to go either. And he ended up creating something absolutely beautiful out of that heartbreak. And I just, guys, I think that was the coolest thing ever. And I thought his blog was really cool. He also has a book and a YouTube channel. I'm going to throw links to whatever I can in the description, but I really hope people will go check it out because really, I thought it was really cool. And his Pinterest had so many amazing quotes. Like, I, I love quotes, but I love ways that get you through things that suck. Because a lot of it sucks. <laughs> so, Definitely go check out the description for more links to the Better Man Project because it's worth it on whichever side, woman, man, whatever. He really has an inspirational story that I hope will help other people realize if you're at a rough spot, hey, I can bounce back. I can come back. And Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to another Positivity Juice. I've been your host, the Dread Pirate Space Buns, and I hope all of you are feeling nice and inspired to shoot for your dreams. I will leave you on the note of shoot for the moon, for even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Have a good day, everybody.